you can see it's a pretty big apple tree and it was a good 12 foot taller than this when we moved in two years ago so I'm gradually each year taking a good amount off I don't want to overdo it in only one year but obviously there's some big branches coming off it's rather late to be doing this but um, it's got to be done so it's just a case of working out which I want to take down to get the nice shape uh, this has been left for 20 years or so I think um, so it's really got out of control so I'm just trying to get that nice goblet shape so opening up the middle of it and shortening everything else so I've done a good bit of thinning out by lopper and secateurs and then what I've done is gone round and marked up with spray paint everywhere I want to make a cut making sure that the branches are going out nothing's going back in and that I'm leaving some good growth Right, so there are actually four really big branches going up now so I think I'm going to have to get the chainsaw out for those simply because I'm going to be there forever cutting them by hand uh, they're kind of those four primary uh, branches that go straight up and once those are gone that'll kind of give us that really nice open shape and a lot shorter same time. Uh, I don't know what size bar that is, 35 I think rings a bell. Uh, so it's on the smaller side of course but perfect for kind of around the garden and chopping firewood. I think that's really what this saw is aimed at. So four pulls to uh, start it from cold after being sat for the winter and once it is going it's so so easy to start again so if you're up a tree uh, or anything like that you're not going to lose your balance because it's so easy to start once it's warm you know if you're just shutting it off in between cuts just literally a quick flick of the finger and it goes so uh, as far as usability it's got to be uh, one of the easier chainsaws to use the bulk of the work's done on the tree so I'm just sorting out everything that's been cut down now so anything that's remotely straggly or skiddy like that uh, has been cut off for a burn pile 
and then any potential firewood is down there. Whilst I'm at it, um, I also need to take down this large trunk uh, from an old holly tree and because it's all going to be lawned in the next few months, hopefully. So uh, I'm going to drop that one now. Probably be quite a good test of what this saw can do because you really couldn't go much thicker than what that trunk is. It's probably going to test it, especially with this dull blade. The last job is this smaller apple tree here, which is old but very small and just doesn't fruit at all. It's given, we've given it three years now uh, and it's also got some sort of rot going on at the bottom. So I think it's always been starved by this massive one because it's so close. So we're going to take this one out. <laughs> So there you go, that's my little show and tell of this uh, Makita, uh, I don't know what model number it is, EA3201S. These teeth here I found especially helpful on uh, on that larger wood and I don't think you get that on all the small saws so that's a little bonus but there's my little run through of the Makita. Perfect for like garden and uh, firewood type chopping. So there we go. Thanks for watching. Remember, if you can, do it yourself and we'll see you next time.